It all begins here at the font. We describe this as the root of our faith. And every time we enter the church and every time we leave this holy place, we pass this sacred spot that reminds us of our initiation into the life of Jesus Christ. And from this initiation at baptism, the other sacraments of the church flow. Eucharist, confirmation, reconciliation, anointing of the sick, marriage, and holy orders. They all flow from this. These seven sacraments are graced moments, unique graced encounters with Jesus Christ. I want to invite you to join me beginning on Monday, September 28th, for a seven-part series on the sacraments of the church. We'll be using a video series produced by Bishop Robert Barron, the founder of Word on Fire. His work is always filled with wisdom and beauty and art as a way to prick the imagination and to draw us deeper into the presence of the divine plan of God. This seven-part series will include videos, but it will also have an opportunity for dialogue with all of you and the opportunity for questions and answers. David Verbsky, a seminarian from St. Mary's Seminary, will work with me on this faith formation series. You'll have the opportunity to gather in Trevison Hall if you feel comfortable, or to participate by Zoom from the comfort of your home. You can join us for one evening or for all seven. It's up to you. The chance to enrich our faith, delve deeper into the life of the church and the life of Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world, and the faith that has been offered to us through these graced encounters is both an opportunity and a privilege. There can be no denying that since everything has shut down back in March, it's been difficult to maintain any sense of normalcy. What you're experiencing personally and with your family and with your jobs, we're also experiencing here in the church. Weddings have been canceled. First communions have been postponed. Parents are delaying their children being baptized. And certainly people attending Mass both on Sunday and during the week and receiving the Eucharist, the numbers have been down. And I get it. I understand where everyone's coming from. And while we have to delay and postpone sacraments until it's safe for us to gather, maybe it's an opportunity for us to spend some time to reflect more deeply on why the seven sacraments of the church mark us in a unique way as Catholics. Maybe this is a once in a hundred year opportunity to learn a little more about our faith. We all look forward to the day and the time when we can fully and actively participate in worship and in, sac in the sacramental life of our church. But until this pandemic is over, maybe it's a good opportunity for us to try and understand why we do what we do. Join us for this series on the seven sacraments of the church from 7 to 8 p.m. beginning on Monday, September 28th. It will be here, it's here at the font where the water flows and the words of baptism that you are baptized into Christ Jesus in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, where those words are announced to the world. And from that moment forward, your life is changed, marked for Christ. Join us to learn more about these seven most graced encounters that we call sacrifice.